Hi, my name is Sylvia Richardson, and I am the Community Education Program Manager here at Desert Financial Credit Union. And today I'm excited to be able to share with you about teaching your K through eighth grader the value of a dollar. And so today, as I said, we're going to talk about teaching your K through eighth grader the value of a dollar. Children need to learn how to manage their finances, even though they don't have any yet, at a very early age. So today I'm going to talk to you about five teaching tools that you can use to help your child learn money management skills at a very young age. And so the first tool that I want to talk about is personal goals. What are some things that your child want that um, you don't want to buy for them? You know, we buy things that they have to have. We make sure that their necessities are taken care of. They have clothes, they have a place to live, but there are some things that our kids want that are um, out of our price range and we don't want to buy, buy it for them. One of the things that we can do is to help our kids by setting personal goals. And so, Helping them set a personal goal, then you can help them work toward that goal and maybe they can earn extra money so that they can contribute to that item that they want to purchase. So that is personal goal number one. The second tool that you can use is a budget. A budget is a spending plan. It is making a plan for how you spend your money. And children do get money, whether it's from an allowance or us just giving them money based on them asking, but teaching your kids at a very early age about spending, about savings, and about making choices. And you can do that through what's called teachable moments. And these are moments throughout the day when you have an opportunity to have a conversation based on your child's interests. And so the third teaching tool is an allowance. So financial experts do agree, a lot of them, that children should get an allowance. An allowance is giving your child money so that they can touch it, they can feel it, they can actually make some decisions. They have some money that is their own money that they can use to spend on things that they want to spend money on with your guidance, of course. So giving your child an allowance and giving them an allowance on a certain day um, of the week. You want to be consistent and also to figure out how much money you want to give your child in that allowance. You want to um, really establish it by age. So you want to give them a dollar per year. So if I'm 12, that means that every week I'm going to get an allowance of $12. And the fourth teaching tool is work. So you're giving your child an allowance, that is great. But what if they want that one thing that costs a lot of money and they want you to buy it? You can actually have them do other chores outside of their normal chores to earn extra money. So if they don't normally have to um, wash the windows or do laundry, you can give them that as a chore so that they can earn extra money. And then the last teaching tool is investment. So look at the example, $1,000 a year grows if invested at 6% per compounded annually over time. So the earlier you can get your child into saving money and you helping them, you're going to be investing in their future. So every time they get paid through their allowance, you want to make sure that they are saving some of that money. And then with your help, then you can help them to learn about investing and growing their money. If this video has been helpful, please leave a comment. Thank you so much.